How's it going, everybody? We are back with Ryan today, and we are talking about garter snakes. Now, I the one thing I do have to say about garter snakes, I see these guys all the time. When we're out doing anything in the flower beds, weeding, watering, we see garter snakes all the time. And that is G-A-R-T-E-R, -E not gardener snakes. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah, okay, good. Um, okay, so, Ryan, I mean, why are these guys beneficial to have in, in the landscape? Um, these guys being around, even small ones like this, they'll eat um, insects. Um, they'll go after rodents that you don't necessarily want, like mice and voles. Larger guys will. Um, sometimes people don't want these around because they'll actually go after fish. And so if they have a fish pond, yep. you'll sometimes find garter snakes hanging around your fish pond. So if you end up seeing like a lot of garter snakes in the upcoming months here, that's when they are kind of coming out of their... Uh, winter dormancy, I guess. Yeah, so these guys are starting to come out of their um, start, even right, right now, it's warm enough out that they're going to start coming out, you'll see them out in the sun. Um, I've heard from several people already that are seeing these guys out in the wild, mm -hmm. so it's so, warm up enough. Yeah, and so if people go outside even today and they happen to see a garter snake just sitting out in the open, do they, need, they don't need to be alarmed, do they? No, you don't need to worry these guys. Uh, these guys are harmless to people. They're not going to go ahead, they're going to go ahead and be great assets to your um, garden or you go ahead and take care of like what we talked about this um, rodents insects that mm -hmm. just in and around you mentioned uh voles now uh from the the gardening world voles are a huge problem right now they're all over rapid city i've noticed them everywhere they're hard to get rid of so if you have voles you want garter snakes in your yard yeah some bigger ones garter snakes are a good one um racers are another one that that are kept around for that um here it's funny in south dakota we actually have a couple different species of garter snakes everybody thinks there's just one kind we actually, have, me included. we actually have what's called a uh, common or a red-sided garter snake, and we also have a plain garter snake. But very similar. Um, the red-sided garter snakes obviously have a little more red to it, but they do actually have different species. Okay. All right. Now, can I mean, can these little guys bite? They, they... Um, they can. I like to say anything with a mouth can bite you. That's my big rule. Um, these guys who bite is not gonna hurt. This guy is small enough, mm -hmm. probably not even breed. Okay, all right. Now, can, uh, this, since this is a local snake, can they live right alongside bull snakes and prairie rattlesnakes, like also snakes that we have here? Yeah, these guys, um, you will find them even here at Reptile Gardens upstairs. We have a display where we have garter snakes, racers, a bull snake, and a prairie rattlesnake all in together, kind of to show how they all den up together during the winter. So a rattlesnake won't just eat this snake? Um, probably most likely not. Um, these guys... So for one, it's a little too small. Your rattlesnakes are going to be looking a lot more for your rodent prey as well. And so they'll kind of get up more in the winter, but come summertime, they might all start spreading out and going in their own directions. Okay, all right. So I guess kind of moral of the story, if you happen to see one of these in your yard, let it be. Yep, just leave them alone. It's good to have around and not going to hurt you at all. Um, so they're great when they have them in the yard. Okay, well... I still jump though when I see them. I'll be uh, pulling weeds in the flower bed. I see a garter snake and I act like I saw the anaconda <laughs> running through the yard. So, all right. Well, cool. Thank you very much, Ryan. All right.